In this video, we're gonna keep working on my bathroom remodel. And we're gonna do it right now. So we got the door on. We just have to do a trim, the baseboard, got the vanity in, gonna do baseboard here, put the heat cover on. Uh, but what I'm gonna start with is this window. I'm gonna trim this out. So to start, uh, you can see that the old trim comes out a little further than the sheetrock or the drywall. So what we're going to start with is trimming this old trim back and making sure when I put this piece on that I can sit the trim flat right here. So that's what we're going to start with. Let's take my shade down. Now I want to make sure there's no nails that I'm going to cut through from the old trim. Oh wow, I got dusty real quick. I'll take all those out. So you know what I'm going to use for this? My favorite tool ever. <laughs> Here we go. Now to make this easier, so I don't have to cut this whole thing, if I do it correctly, I'm hoping that I can split this wood all the way up. Because it doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to be gone. So let's see. It's a pretty good start. Cool. Okay, doesn't have to be pretty, just has to work. So now this is behind the drywall. So I'll be able to get my trim on. Now I'm gonna cut this. This is an extension jam. So I'm gonna cut this off so that I can get a piece up further here and this doesn't hold my piece out. All right. We're all cleaned up. I also cut the sheetrock down below this piece of wood here, and we're ready to trim this out. So first thing I'm gonna start with is the sill. I could make this a picture frame window, which means I just put trim out to here and then do trim like a square box. That's why they call it a picture frame. Just trim, 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 trim. But what I'm gonna do is build this out as a sill, so it's kind of like a little shelf. Um, so I'll start with that and then I'll work out from there. The two measurements that I'm concerned with getting first for the windowsill are the length and the width of the sill. And I'm gonna show you how I get those. First, I'm gonna take my two scrap pieces of uh, three quarter inch pine and this is what's going to be used to case out this window so i'm going to use that for reference basically the sill is going to be like this and then a couple on the side and then one on the top but i'm going to use these to determine my length and i'm going to put them even so there's a nice even reveal here 
but I'm going to put them so that they're at the edge of the outside of the window. So I'll put that one right about there. And then this one right about here. And I'm going to take this combination square and this is going to give me the reveal for the trim. This is the window trim that I'm going to use and this is going to go here all around the window. And I want to choose my measurement and that's going to tell me that this is going to be even all the way around. So I'll take one of these pieces or both of these pieces, but I'm going to mark right here and I'll mark right here. Put that back in place can hold it where it needs to be and then mark right here, right here. And right here. And when I attach these pieces, I'll then attach my window trim and I use those marks as a guide to give me a nice reveal right here. Hold this piece right here and then hold my window trim where that's going to go and mark this side of that trim and then do the same thing over here. All right, now I got my two marks where I know the window trim is going to be sitting and we'll say this is the sill. I don't want my window trim to sit like this. I'm going to hold it past about a half inch. So I'm going to take this measurement between those two marks and I'm going to add one inch to have a half inch on each side extra. So that's 28 and a half overall length. So I'm going to write that down. That's the width of my windowsill. And now I can take my trim and this is, this is all preference really. This is just the way I like to do it. But that's as far out as my window trim is going to go. So I can measure the width or the uh, depth and I'm going to hold it out about the same, about a half inch. So that's three and a quarter over there. I just want to check this side because it might not be the same. Yeah, three and a quarter. So now I know that I can cut my sill 28 and a half by three and a quarter. Now I'm going to put a, just a simple round over edge on the sill. Okay, there's my sill. So now all I have to do is line it up where it's going to go and then mark on each side where I need to notch it. Then I can hold it like this. Mark against the wall. Same on this side. I did actually end up ripping this a little more because this side is a little uneven. But that looks great. I'm going to hold that to where it needs to go. And 
put my level on it. And it looks like this side needs to go up. So I'm gonna nail this side right where it go, right where it is. My finish nailer. Make sure it's good on both ends. Looks great. Nail it there. Put my level back. And I cut a bunch of shims. So shim this up. Where it's level. Perfect. I can shoot this side. Or about there, wherever I can. Good. I'll just cut these shims. side pieces I'm just gonna get a measurement of height I'm gonna go to the top of this window right here see if they're the same 38 and a half I'm gonna cut those exactly to 38 and a half and then because this is an old house and I'm sure nothing is even. Um, I'm going to hold my square like this on the wall. And then I'm going to measure like this. And that is going to be inch and three quarters strong. I'm going to go inch and seven eighths. And then down here, two and an eighth. Yeah, see, it's not even. So two and an eighth to inch and seven eighths over 38 inches. I'll write that down so I don't forget. Okay, and then my next piece, do the same thing. So anytime I say that I'm gonna rip something by hand, it means no fence. So this can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. I have done this a bunch of times, so I definitely recommend you be careful if you're gonna attempt this or don't attempt it at all. Um, but basically I marked that line, I marked a measurement up there and then down here, and then I made the line and this is for each side of the window and I'm gonna rip it by hand on the table saw. So there you go. Just takes a nice steady hand and lots and lots of practice. Now I can put these pieces in. This top piece is a little bit easier because I'm going to set it on top of here because I want to make sure I have enough trim to cover all this mess. So I can tuck it inside here so I can cut this long. In fact, I want to cut it long so I can just hold it down and nail it into here and then I can get some shims up and nail up there. So just to show you, if I held this with an even reveal. I would put my trim up here like this and yeah, it wouldn't cover. So instead I can take it and it's actually easier to install this way. But now if I put it up here, it'll cover. And I'm gonna get some insulation and just tuck a little extra in there 
and wherever I can before I put my trim on. Now I'm going to take my combo square with that measurement and mark all the way around the window. And that's where my window trim is going to go. There, there, there. Now I can take my piece of window trim and it's going to sit right here, right on that mark. And then up here, I want to mark it on that line and cut a 45 degree angle. Mark it right here. That's going to be the short point of my 45. I'm going to go cut this one and the one on the other side. on. Now I'm going to nail into here first with a pin gun. We'll do the other side. Now a little trick to doing this top piece before I nail in the sides here, I want to take this piece that goes like this and I want to flip it just like that and then hold this and mark right here and the orientation is opposite and then over here mark this and the orientation. So now I can cut these as my long point of a 45, like this, the piece should sit right in there. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of wood glue and put it on both ends. Put my piece in, nail it into place. can nail it in with the finish gun. Okay, it's looking good. Only thing missing, basically just a piece of window trim upside down. And the way to do this is to measure from this piece to this piece and then it goes directly underneath that. So I'll measure that and show you how to cut it. For the piece of trim that goes under the window, uh, what I'm gonna do is cut this at a 45, like so. And I'll show you why. piece to look like that and then you want to take some scrap piece of trim like this and I'm gonna cut this square now what I'm gonna do is something called returning the trim to itself so you need to picture this piece of trim being up against the wall and then you want to put a little piece in here so it has a nice finished edge with this same profile. So what I like to do is have it, just pretend that it's a tiny, tiny piece of trim that's coming off the wall with a flat edge. And then you wanna cut this at a 45 like this. So now I'm gonna take this piece and cut a 45. Be careful when you cut small pieces like this because they could go flying. Make sure you have safety glasses on and just be careful. So this is the teeny tiny piece that you want so that you can put it in just like that and you have a nice profile 
and a nice finished edge. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I can line this piece up. Make sure it's even on both sides with the other trim and nail it. And what I like to do to attach these is just load this up with caulking. And I put so much in that when I press it into place, it comes out all over the place. I might have put a lot. <laughs> and that way you can caulk this in at the same time. So there we go. Got my nice sill. I'm sure I'll pile stuff up on it. It'll be a catch-all, but that looks nice. Got my trim on and I just gotta caulk it in and fill the nail holes, paint it. Awesome. So that's where we're gonna wrap this one up. If you enjoyed this and you wanna see more videos on this bathroom remodel, you can click hereish and hereish and check those videos out. And if you enjoyed this content and you wanna see more, I have a ton of other home repair videos on my channel. You can hit that subscribe button down there and go check those out. But first, check out that video or that video. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.